Riding along my automobile. How many caught, buddy? None. You haven't caught one yet? Not yet. Hey, I'm headed to Traverse City, Michigan, and I'm gonna hook up with my buddy, Colonel Bill Mullins. Now, I introduced Colonel Bill to a lot of you last year, uh, but if you didn't see that show, we struggled on Lake Champlain. It was cold, and believe it or not, it was muddy, and we just didn't catch him as good as I wanted to, so I've invited him up to Traverse City. We're gonna fish a small inland lake just right there outside of Traverse City. And man, I love this guy. We're great friends. He piloted the President of the United States in Marine One helicopter. Uh, very colorful guy, super, super fisherman. And we're gonna have a lot of fun today. So you stay with me. I'm Hank Parker. We're gonna be fishing with Colonel Bill Mullins. Good doggy. That's a good old nice one. Good. He nailed that, that jerk bait. Cutter 110. When I was just a big fat baby, my mama would rock me in the cradle. Bill? Yes, sir. Feel free to sing along, brother. <laughs> Riding along, singing a song. Hey, we started off in the morning, and I was throwing a Fritz side five. Bill was throwing a uh, Cutter 110 jerk shad. And the Cutter 110 is, is one of my favorite, most deadly pre-spawn smallmouth baits. And, and so that's kind of what we were concentrating on. They have left the building like Elvis. But little did we know, as I kept watching my hummingbird, that water temperature was a lot warmer than what it was where we were in Lake Michigan at Traverse City. Let's get in the shallow water, 67 right, degrees. Let's go try it. So the fish were further advanced, so we get up shallow and start looking for them, and we start finding them on the bed. Riding along, looking for a bed. Oh, I see the bed. Right over there. Yes. I don't see the fish, but. I do. Oh, I just saw it. Got him. Oh. You got him. You had him. Had him. Go back in there. We gotta catch him. I see him, he's coming after yours. He should have it. He ran after it hard. There he yeah, is. Yeah, I thought he had it. I thought he had it. Do it, Bill. Woo! Oh, that's a good one. Good job. I didn't I didn't feel it. I couldn't see the bait. I couldn't see the angle. It's all yours. Good job. Good job. Right back to the bed he goes. All we gotta do is go find us another bed. That was pretty much fun. <laughs> One and done. One and done. He right back down there, isn't he? Mm-hmm. I like that. Riding along, that's pretty good. Hey, what we're doing, we're on a lake that I've never been before, the darkest water. We're right out of Traverse City, Michigan. There's 10,000 lakes. Uh, Minnesota uh, kind of took that title land of 10,000 lakes, but there's that many here as well. And so we're looking for beds. This is the darkest water, but it's really warm. It's like 67, 68 degrees. So. We think we're gonna, I want to sight fish. And Bill and I fished together, Colonel Bill Mullins, and I fished together last year on the Potomac, and we struggled. And I said, Bill, I want to go with you somewhere. There's some great smallmouth fishing. So I got a buddy that lives up here, Chris Nofsinger, who is probably as good a smallmouth fisherman as there is in the world. So he directed me over to this lake today. He said, go over there and try that. 
Uh, if it doesn't work, give me a call. I can tell you another 50 lakes to go to, but this lake's got big flats and darker water. I bet it'll be warmer, so Chris was right. It's definitely warmer than any other place we've seen. So we want to sight fish, and so that's what we're doing today. Looking for a bass. I bet we ran one off there and I didn't see it. That's it. Oh yeah. He pulled off. There he's coming back. Fun to watch. Bill, I don't care much about this. <laughs> you know? It's, it's not, not a whole lot of fun, is it? It really isn't a lot of fun. You pretty thing, you. A little Berkeley power tube in the chartreuse color. This water's not as clear, but you can still see pretty good. Go on back down there, buddy. Still see that chartreuse pretty good. Look what I see, Bill. There he is, see? You're up. Yep. This thing floats on the drop shot. Might be the ticket. One of the best ways that I've ever caught smallmouth bass on the bed is a drop shot. Now I use several different baits. This is just a little lizard. I use a lot of different baits. I like a little jerk shad on that. They got it. Oh, I right had it. <laughs> I got it. I like a power swimmer on it. He's fired up now. I, I do several different things on that little drop shot. But that little drop shot is so easy when you put it in the bed and you can shake that thing and leave that weight kind of stationary and really fire that fish up and you can catch them when it's windy and it's crazy conditions. He likes it. He likes it. So we caught them on jerk sheds. We caught them on all sorts of different drop shots. We caught them on tubes. And so all in all, we had a pretty wide variety of lures that worked. What did we do before we had talons and spot lock? Go look for another one. Look for another one. Hey, we got a little sight fishing going. Stay with me. We'll be right back. Sunshine's coming, Bill. That'd be good. Come on. Come on. Be good. What did I say that thing was called? Water bug? Water bug. That's pretty good bait. It floats. It is. I like that. This portion of Hank's show is brought to you by Berkeley. Catch more fish. Yeti coolers built for the wild. And by Hummingbird. This portion of Hank's show is brought to you by Berkeley. Catch more fish. Oh, yeah, I, th I think you can put your talons down now. Let me see. Logger. Him is. Nice fish. He's not very nice. He wouldn't be jumping like that. If he was nice, he would have just quit. What do you think, Mr. Bill? I think that's a nice I one. I think we got us a small one. Yeah. Nice dark one. A nice dark one. It was hard to see. Onward, Christian soldier, marching as to war. I cannot see. I can't either, but I'm trying to get up there. I think it's right over. No. 
Oh yeah, right there, yeah. Right there. Right there. Right there, you're in there. Well, Breeze makes it tough, doesn't it? There you go. That's good. Good cast. Good cast. Boy, this wind makes it so it hard. It, it just makes it impossible. It makes it impossible almost. But look at my man. Look at what a good one. Get him! Here you go. Let me help you. Woo -ha. Ah, ha, ha, ha. He was. Finally. Bait, he? <laughs> he, was. Huh? he was a good one. You did good. You did good. You want to hold him and kiss him? And... Let, me, let me hold him. No, I'm not going to hold him. <laughs> you want to hold him, you got to come up here. <laughs> you got to come all the way to the front. Get a snap shot. Look here. We're going to get a snap shot. All right. You hold your fish. I don't want to be guilty of holding <laughs> your fish in the snap shot. We got a snap shot. <laughs> That's more fun right. than flying a helicopter. Finally, right? yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine what it'd be like <laughs> to pilot that giant helicopter and land on the White House lawn and pick the President of the United States up and fly him to Quantico over to get on uh, Air Force One. This is Marine One. And uh, Colonel Bill Mullins is piloting for I don't know how many years, like three different presidents, he flew in uh, the Marine One helicopter. But he's my special guest. That, no, nah, that's a pretty thing there. Look at that. Bye, girl. Good job, my brother. Thank you. Yes, I fished with Bill last year, and we went to Champlain, and uh, the water was actually cold and muddy. And we struggled, we caught them. But he's such a special friend. I didn't feel like we did him justice, so I wanted to make it up to him. And so this year we go together to Traverse City and uh, fish together and had a great time. And I'm gonna tell you, it, it's funny how you really have to scramble sometime when you're fishing and you make lemonade out of a lemon. We got to Traverse City and, and the water was cold. So we started taking a map and looking at all these little lakes and we figured out a lake there that wasn't too far from Traverse City. I don't even know the name of the lake. It wasn't a very big lake, maybe 120 or 30 miles of shoreline. So we go there taking a chance that the water be warmer and it was. That's a kernel right there, bro. And the fish were more advanced and we got to sight fish and uh, we were able to catch them pretty darn good. So we had a great time together, and Colonel Bill Mullins is a class act and a great friend. Golly. And I was just so glad that we got to really catch them. Good job. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. Good job. Put it back down in there. Put it back, cut it loose. What about a uh, Diet Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola. Does that work? That works. Thank All you, sir. Right. It's lunchtime here in the morning. Hank's show is made possible in part by Lou's. Feel the difference. And by Minn Kota. TH Marine. Solar Bat. And Talon. This portion of Hank's show is brought to you by Berkeley. Catch more fish. I'm going to tell you what, that is the quietest, quickest responding, best fuel mileage, all around best performing outboard I've ever had. It is amazing how much more fuel efficient they are today than they were 25 years ago. I love that outboard. It is just straight running mode. It is. It, the response on it is what's amazing. It is. I love it. We're going to see if it'll get us up here in shallow water where there's fish. Let's get them. You know, we started out, it was all good. And then it started getting more and more and more windy. It became a little bit more difficult, so we would go to heavier weights on our drop shot. Finally, man, it got windy enough I could throw a spinnerbait. And uh, I just put on this little spinnerbait and started running over the bed. And we caught them on spinnerbait. How about 
the wind blowing, we got one on a spinner bug. That's a couple we've caught on the spinner bug. And again, I tell people all the time, a lure is nothing but a tool. And when that wind got up and you couldn't see those beds clearly, you'd just see a little dark spot there, a little dark spot there. Man, if it wasn't a bed, you'd waste a lot of time with that drop shot. But you run that spinner bait over it, if it's not a bed, it's not a big deal. If it is a bed, you're probably gonna get a bite. I did, you caught him on a spinner bug. So we just had the right tools, put them all together, and it was a great time. Bill? Indeed. Thanks for letting me be on your show. <laughs> this is great. It's the Great Lakes. It is. How about that? <laughs> I got him. You got him. Or has he got you? He got me. He got you. Oh, nice fish. I get it for you. How about it? All right. <laughs> Quality right. fish. Water bug. That's what it is right there. Wow. Get that water bug. Here now. Pour the tail off of my water bug. Oh, no. I got that fish on I your I saw him. I saw him get him. Get him, I saw him come get it. Now, tell a story. I hung the little tube up on the rock. So I got my little drop shot. Bill was holding my rod that was hung up. I got that fish. All of a sudden I saw that tube disappear off that rock and then Bill said, I got your fish. You caught my fish. That is so cool. Catch him, Bill. Whip him over here, Bill. Whip him over here. Show him who's boss. Yeah, well. <laughs> Show him who's boss, Bill. Golly, <laughs> oh, he broke it. <laughs> Get you some of that. Hold on to that eight pound line wrapped around your hand. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Captain Bill Mullins, the United States Marine Corps, 28-year veteran, include the President of the United States all around the country, and I just broke off one of his smallmouth bass. Now, what kind of patriot am I? Got him. Got him. Woo, it's a good one. This is the Colonel Bill Mullins Show. <laughs> Colonel Bill Mullins, take us to a commercial break. We'll be right back after this commercial. And Bill Mullins will be catching more big, giant smallmouth. <laughs> Hank's show is brought to you in part by Ranger Boats. Still building legends one at a time. Mercury Marine. Go boldly. More of Hank's show coming up. He took it. He took it that time. You pretty thing, you. We got a bass. I like that, Bill. You're trying to pay me back, but that counted because he was in the boat. You know, the Bible says, let your yes be yes and your no be no. Just throw him back. In other words, be a straight shooter. And that's who uh, Colonel Bill Mullins, he, he's a straight shooter. He is so grateful to be out there and be fishing. What have you, woo, Bill, what have you got a hold And he's the same whether we're catching fish or whether we're not. And, and I love that, it makes your day so pleasant. No pressure. Colonel Bill Mullins never puts pressure on you to catch fish. He's having a good time whether he's catching or not. Now he's working at it and he's fishing hard and he's a really, really good fisherman. And he's going at it hard but he's having just as much fun when he's not catching them, so his mood don't change. And I love that, it's so much fun to fish with. It. He's got it, woo, he's a big one. That's the biggest one of the day, Bill. Biggest fish of the day. They're out here mowing grass. <laughs> big one of the day. Come on down, big boy. Strong one. He is strong. <laughs> hey, what a great guy. We have become super duper friends and uh, talk a lot, text a lot, talk fishing. So we fished at Champlain last year. It was so terrible. And this year we came up here to Michigan. My buddy Chris Knopfinger told us where to come, what to do. And man, it's just been a great day. It has it's been a great day. Good job. Look at that. Can I get a picture with that one? It's yes. been tough to see them, but uh, 
And when you get on that bed and get just right, they'll bite whether you oh, see them or not. They like it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we hope you enjoyed the show today. Bright chartreuse baits, a little Berkeley power tube's been the bait of choice. What was our little cricket we called it? Water bug. A water bug, it floats. And so on the uh, drop shot, we were using a little water bug, eight pound test, uh, trialene 100% fluorocarbon. Just take your time, be deliberate, see what you can, hold it in the bed as long as you can. Sooner or later, one will swim off. And when he swims off to the right or the left, you just lift up. That's right. <laughs> hey, I tell you, we had a ball. I, I love hanging out with Colonel Bill. And uh, we caught him pretty good. Wasn't setting the world on fire, but it was pretty consistent all day long. Caught some great fish, and uh, we just had a great time. And it, it, we mixed it up a lot, you know, a lot of different baits, sight fishing, blind cast. We, we had a lot of things going on, so it was a fun show for me. Hope it was for you. Thanks for being with me. Thanks, Colonel Bill. God bless you. I'm Hank Parker. And don't forget to visit us at hankparker.com the place for tips, giveaways, and more. The house needs painting, the grass needs mowing. Where's he at? Gone fishing.